Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, Windows 10 has finally been released to the public, to the wild. And uh, today's video is all about how to upgrade to Windows 10, right? It's not a how to install Windows 10 because it's not really an installation, guys. It's an upgrade. Microsoft is not providing an installation and not providing you a, a file that you can go to any machine and just install it, okay? The core requirements for this to work is you need to have a Windows 7 SP Service Pack 1 or a Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 uh, operating system already working and is and it's a legit copy with a and it's already activated okay for this stuff to work now I'm gonna read some stuff to you uh, okay when you upgrade a Windows 7 or a Windows 8.1 system to Windows 10 the installer confirms that you have a genuine Windows system installed and activates your computer for the use of Windows 10. Okay, so this is the whole process of what Microsoft is trying to do. They're trying to make sure if individuals out there have a legit copy of Windows. If you don't, this is not going to work out for you. Now, note that you don't actually get a Windows 10 product key. Instead, your computer's hardware is actually registered with my with the Microsoft servers. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty scary. Uh, when you install Windows 10 on that PC again in the future, it will check with Microsoft servers and confirm it is installed on a registered PC, and automatically activates itself. That is how Windows 10 is going to activate itself. Okay. If you don't take advantage of the upgrade process first, the registration would never happen for you guys. Uh, so that means Microsoft won't have a register hardware and their server indicated that you have activated Windows 10 and it's never going to work out. The only way it's going to work out for you guys is if you purchase it. Uh, there's no way to enter Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 key into Windows 10 installer, so you're out of luck of that. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's get started. So I'm actually running a, uh, a Dell V131 laptop. And I'm not doing a virtual machine for you guys. And the reason why I'm not doing a virtual machine for you guys is because virtual machines are so easy to manipulate. And I don't want to trick you guys. So uh, I, I took a machine for my job. I'm going to remote desktop into it. And, uh, and let me log into it. Yep. Let me see if it's active over here. It looks like it's active. Hopefully I can remote into it. All right. So let me log into the machine. And there we go. Okay, so let's hit yes on this. All right, so I'm finally logged into the machine. And within this machine, uh, I can tell you guys, it took me a while to push out all the updates. I installed Windows 7 Service Pack 1, and I pushed out maybe 300 plus updates until it was finally done. Uh, this machine is running a Intel Core i5 processor, 2.30 gigahertz. Um, and it's fully activated, Windows Professional, with no problem. And I pushed out almost every update uh, today. As you can see, I pushed out all the updates today. And one day, I pushed all these 300 updates. And to the point that I received that nice little notification of Get Windows 10, that reserve dialog box that Windows pushed out a couple, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And uh, I was happy that I got it. Uh, a lot of individuals have posted up comments at my site because I've pushed out so many Windows 10 information for you guys and uh, videos dealing with upgrading and downgrading and all that stuff. I just wanted to do a an actual live stuff for you. And uh, a lot of you have said, oh, I haven't received that reservation thing. How can I get it? I, I, I want to upgrade. There's two ways to do it. One, you could do the reservation spot thing that they did. Let's, I'm going I'm to reserve my free upgrade. And you can just basically wait until Windows downloads the operating system in bits. And once it's completed, it's going to say, hey, um, I'm ready to install. And then you guys can install uh, the new operating system with no problem. Now, you could do this, but there's another way that you can actually get it faster. Uh, I'm going to actually post this link at the description or at my site so you guys can get a copy. But uh, within here, you can download what version you need. I downloaded the 64-bit the version, and I actually have it on my desktop right here. So I'm going to double-click on that. 
And what this application do, or what this application does, is basically gives you two options. One option is upgrade now, and the other option is create an installation disk. Now, you cannot create an installation disk in, until you have Windows 10 uh, fully installed into your machine. That's, this is the only way it will work. All right, guys? So don't go and download this tool and then create an installation meter off the bat. You need to have Windows 7 or Windows 8, do the upgrade to Windows 10, then run this application, and then create your media. Now, within the when you're creating your media, you have two options. You can either do a DVD or a flash drive. I'm going to do a flash drive with, with you guys. Now, once you have that flash drive, you're able to install the operating system as a clean install. So basically, if, if you're having problems, a lot of issues, and you have all the installation disks and all the drivers and stuff, you can perform a straight, clean installation this way. So I'm going to say upgrade this PC now because, again, regardless if I have the reservation dialog box in my taskbar, uh, uh, the update hasn't been uh, pushed down to this machine in bits, and I can't wait. So let's say I'm in a rush and I want this right now. So you download this thing. I'm gonna again. I'm gonna post the links at my site, and this, the link is gonna be at the description. And once you say upgrade now, click on next. And on this process right here, it is downloading the Windows 10 operating system into your machine. Now this process will take some time, so I am actually gonna cut it from here. And uh, I catch you guys once the installation is completed. All right, guys, as you can see, it's still preparing. It's downloaded the files. It downloaded really fast, which I'm super surprised. Uh, and the only, I think the only reason is because not a lot of people are um, hitting the Microsoft server to get the Windows 10 upgrade. And uh, the download was pretty fast. It then, I think it processed uh, the download, and that was pretty quick. And it started preparing it. And right now, it is checking for any updates uh hopefully oh it's restarting awesome it looks like i'm gonna lose the remote desktop wait a minute wait a minute uh oh we're getting a few things ready it looks like it's checking the pc i'm assuming behind the scenes is making sure that the windows 7 service pack one is a legit copy and once that's done uh, I'm hoping it gives me an option to restart manually, not do it right away. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. A license and terms. I'm going to accept it. Choose what to keep. Is uh, getting all updates. Is checking for updates 0%. So it's still going. This process is pretty long. So I, I'm, I'm assuming this process would take between um, maybe an hour to two hours uh the reason why is because it really depends on your internet connection that's for one uh also if you already did the reserve spot your installation should be quick because microsoft already pushed out the install in bits so that should be pretty fast uh but again i did this all i did all this stuff the upgrade manually you know i went into uh this site I went to this site, I downloaded the 64-bit tool, and I double-clicked on it, and as, I, as you guys saw, I had two options. I had to upgrade now, or I had to create installation. Uh, I did get the reservation kind of logo at the bottom of the taskbar, but I didn't want to wait, so I just kicked it off and did it this way. Right now, the updates is it's checking for updates. I don't know what updates they're checking, but I don't I don't know. So hopefully once that's completed, uh, I'm hoping it gives me an option to restart. Right now it's checking for updates is 1%, 2%. So I'm going to let this go and then I'll catch you guys uh, once it's restarting. All right, guys, we are back. It looks like we are ready to install. Awesome. Now, <laughs> depending on what version you have of Windows 7, uh, it's going to tell you off the bat which one they're going to give you. Now, I have Windows 7. Uh, professional service pack one so that it's going to give me install windows 10 pro that's the version that i'm going to get keep personal files and apps that's checked off and it also gives you an option to change what you want to keep i'm going to keep everything as is i don't really have too much on this other than the drivers that i installed today and firefox and a couple of other programs 
So I'm just going to leave it as the default, click on next. And again, it's going to do a little checkup because I made some modifications. Once everything goes well, I should get the little install button right here. And uh, we're going to click away. Uh, once the installation process starts, most likely your machine is going to reboot. Uh, for me, I'm going to lose my remote desktop connection. But as you can see on the sidelines, uh, I do have some footage of the actual machine that's going to get the upgrade. Uh, right now, it's finalizing because it's making sure you got enough space. And we're going to click install. So let's do this. How awesome is this? Beautiful. Got a nice little window installing Windows 10. Your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. So this is when you guys go get a cup of coffee uh, or go take a nap and then come back and hopefully cross the fingers. Hopefully this should work out for you guys. And 6% uh, already completed. And let's see what happens. So it looks like the installation is almost done. Uh, it looks like it has my user account that I was logged in on this laptop. Awesome. Uh, it gives you a nice little option. I am not whatever account you're logged in, but I am that BJ Tech News. That's who I am. And I'm going to click on next. You got the nice little information. It's up to you if you want to read this. I would say read it so you can understand it. What I am going to do is use the Express settings click on next. If not, on the lower left hand side there is a customized settings that you guys can play around with and adjust the way, just adjust the installation the way that you want it. But uh, there you go. So I'm going to sign in and once I sign in I'm good to go. So right now it is uh, preparing yourself. Basically this part right here is the same concept as when you first log into a Windows 7 or a Windows 8.1 machine. It's preparing a desktop for the first time. So once that's done, um, I'm going to remote into the machine and we're going to take a closer look. All right, guys, we have completed our Windows 10 upgrade on a Dell V131 laptop. And it went pretty smooth, pretty f not fast, but it went pretty smooth. Uh, I'm going to remote desktop into it and let's connect. Let me log in. There you go. Hit yes. Pretty smooth. Awesome. And here it goes. Oh, beautiful. So the first thing that you need to do, guys, is to make sure that your Windows 10 is fully activated. Again, remember, there's no Windows 10 product key that Microsoft gave you. Uh, the way that they register your installation is by the hardware. You got to make sure that you're using a Windows 7 Service Pack 1 or a Windows 8 or a Windows 8.1 machine. You have to do the initial upgrade. Okay? Again, guys, you cannot download an ISO file and then burn it into a DVD and just install it into a new machine. You got to do the upgrade first. Uh, so the way that you check on a Windows 10 is let's go to the new start menu. Let's go to settings. And within settings, once it loads up, let's see, come on, load up. So once it loads up, you want to get into, I believe, the Windows and Update uh, section of the Settings app. All right, it looks like I'm having a little bit of difficulties uh, getting into the Settings app. Uh-oh, something went wrong. Uh, I, I did notice within the notification I have a couple of, like, an X finish installing device drivers. And that's not a good thing. That means I have to do a little bit more research to see if Windows 10 is supported with this hardware. Um, but that's not a good thing. But we still need to check if Windows 10 is fully activated. And the way that you could do it, the second way, rather than going to the settings app, we're going to right click on the start menu and we're going to go into system. And within system, you're going to see the Windows activation section. It is activated. Awesome. Now, due to the fact that this machine is fully activated within the Microsoft server, I am able to create a bootable media that I can, I can install this operating system into uh, this machine if I want to do a complete wipe. It's like a backup. Uh, but 
that's it, guys. That is how we upgrade to Windows 10. Hopefully, I'm going to try to get this flash drive up and running. I'm going to do an additional video for you guys of how to do the custom Buddha Boo and show you all the steps and stuff. But I just want to show you guys how it looks uh, because I think once you upgrade to Windows 10, I will definitely, definitely, definitely do a Buddha Boo Media because that's like a backup plan in case something happens. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed how to upgrade to Windows 10. If you have any questions, leave them at the bottom. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.